Hello traders, welcome back to my YouTube channel, in this video these will definitely be one of the very useful free indicators added to your charts this year. To create a good trading system with indicators, you usually need to add several indicators to take all aspects of the market into account. If you are not careful, this can easily result in a disturbance in your charts, resulting in trade disruptions, and you may miss out on highly profitable trades. The indicator we are covering today solves this problem by not only providing trend, but also momentum and even buying and selling in one incredible free indicator. This trade was captured using the indicator and as you can see here, the indicator in question is called B, Extender. Go to the indicator tab and find B, Extender. It is provided by Quant Therapy and added to your chart. If we look at the developer's notes, we can see that the methodology for this indicator was proposed by the International Federation of Technical Analysts, an organization that has been professionally certifying traders around the world since 1987. This indicator has three main components. First, we have extender trend, which acts as a trend detection aspect. Then we have the oscillator histogram, which will act as our momentum tool. We have this plot in between that will provide our buy and sell signals. If we go into the settings, we can see we have minimal options available for the inputs, but in the styling options, we have a number of options available that you can use to customize the indicator to your liking. To further explain how exactly this indicator works, let's go ahead and disable the shadow, color, and the histogram. Let's first focus on the trend detection aspect. This aspect of the indicator will be used to determine the direction we will be taking trades in at any given time. If I zoom in on the oscillator and if you look above the histogram, you can see that there is a line there that plots either red or green to indicate if the trend is in a retracement or if the trend is strong. If we go back into the settings, we can increase the brightness of these lines to see this more clearly. So instead of trying to see the colors of the histogram, we can use the lines trending alongside it. If the histogram is below the zero level, the trend is bearish and the green lines will indicate retracement. But if the line is above the zero line, the trend is bullish and in this case, red indicates retracements. Moving on, let's re-enable our oscillator histogram. This will let us clearly see the shifting momentum of price while we are in a trend. For our strategy later in this video, this will be important because we want to ensure we are entering as the market momentum shifts in the direction of the trend. For this aspect, bright colors indicate strong momentum, while lighter colors indicate weakening of the momentum. Finally, let's re-enable our plots and shapes. These will be the trigger for our entries, enabling us to find the exact points we would like to enter the market. Green dots are buy signals, while the red dots are sell signals. Now that we understand how the indicator components work. But before we continue, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to not miss out on future videos. Now let's talk about how we are going to use this indicator to get amazing trade setups like this. Let's go to the 1 hour time frame. For long trades, we first want to ensure that our overall trend is bullish. As mentioned earlier, this aspect of the indicator will be used to determine the direction we will be taking trades. So for buys, we want the histogram to be above the zero line and to be colored green. For now, don't worry about if the trend is in a retracement or not. Next, we want our oscillator histogram to begin shifting from a strong bearish momentum to weak, bearish momentum, indicated by the light red colors, this tells us that there might be an explosive move coming soon to the upside. Next, we want to wait for our trigger, which will be this green dot. Once we get that trigger, we will execute our buys and we will set stops below the recent swing low and target a 1 is to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Let's see how to plays out this trade. You can see here this trade 1. For sell positions, we want the trend to be bearish, ignoring if the trend is in a retracement or not. Then we want to wait for the momentum to shift from strong bullish to weak bullish. Once this happens, we then wait for our trigger, which will be this red dot. Here we can enter a sell trade. Then keeping stop loss above the recent swing high and we target set a 1 is to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Let's see running this trade. 
This trade successfully won. I would recommend using a dynamic risk based on how profitable a trade is. If once you are going to take an entry, you notice that the market is currently in a retracement. For buy positions, we want to wait for the price of the trend to be bullish, the momentum to shift to a weak, bearish, and then execute on the buy signals targeting a 1 is to 1.5 risk to reward ratio with stop loss nearest the swing low. The opposite is true for sell positions. Regarding our stops, the reason we want to keep stops below or above swing points is because with this kind our strategy, we are trading the direction of the longer term trend and trying to find the optimal point for entry. Now I'm going to test this strategy on the GBP-JPY currency pair. I will take 100 trades and I will calculate the accuracy and gain of this strategy. Ok, the results are in. At the after 2 weeks, the test is truly amazing. So let's check it out. Now, I used a 5 minute time frame. This was done using a 1 as to 1 and 1 as to 1.5 risks to reward ratio on GBP JPY. And it took 2 weeks of price data to find the 100 trade signals, which is actually very good. There were 73 winners and 27 losses. The win rate is 73%. This is a really good win rate. The most won in a row was 5 and the most lost in a row is 2. The gain on the account was 1721%, and that's risking 2% per trade. That means if you had a $1000 account, you can gain at least $1700 profit using only one currency pair. And one very important thing, when you use this indicator on 1 minute, 3 minute or 5 minute time frame, then your stop loss will be very small. So it may be that the broker you use, they provide you very high spread due to which your chances of hitting the stop loss will be high. So I would request you to use IC market, which will provide you zero spread and you will be able to execute pinpoint trades in market. Link in a description, join now. Remember, knowledge of the trend is one of the first and most crucial step in successful trading. Armed with these valuable indicators, the RSI momentum trend and the stochastic RSI and the strategies we've shared today, you're now better prepared to navigate the exciting world of trading. This is one of the many strategies you can do using the Strender indicator. You can also use it with price action or support and resistance or smart money concepts or ICT. The opportunities are endless. The goal of our YouTube channel as well as similar channels out there is to give you basic ideas of trading strategies in the form of indicator combinations on which you can find inspiration to create your own profitable trading systems. So if you are looking for the indicator that will be the best addition to your trading strategy ever, hit the like button below and consider subscribing to stay tuned. Goodbye. Thanks for watching our video.